You ever wanted to just switch off your brain and mow down enemies like a hot knife through butter? Yeah, me too. And Jaya might arguably be one of the best Warframes to do that with right now. Even more so handling steel path content with her feels like normal star chart at times. I'm not even joking, especially when paired with the right weapons. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and jump straight into what you need to know. Let's go ahead and kick off with her abilities. Up first, we got Jaya's passive. And this gives her abilities a 10% chance to deal critical damage for each electrical status that affects the enemy. So the more electric procs that you have applied with her ability, to an enemy, the more that you will start to see the change in your damage numbers, in which can ramp up to red critical numbers at times, which looks and feels so damn nice. This is very unique for a passive as well. Jaya's first ability is Arc Sphere. However, for this particular build, I prefer to subsume this ability off and instead give her a way to survive. Subsuming in Hildren's Pillage ability will allow her armor and shield strip, but will also give her shields back when doing so. This is what we'll be using to survive with her. Jaya's second ability is Coil Horizon, and it's not exactly needed for this build. However, if you do want to group up a bunch of enemies and nuke them, you absolutely can. Most of the time, I find myself not using this ability as often because honestly, I'm just running and gunning through enemies and they die so fast that Coil Horizon isn't really needed. Regardless, it's still nice having on the build and I would prefer Coil Horizon over Arc Sphere because I don't really use an awful lot of duration either. So you can throw it out, toss it out, group enemies and off you go, lovely jubbly. Jai's third ability is Cathode Grace and to put this simply, when you activate it, you want to kill as often and as much as you can because kills extend the duration of this ability. So if you let this ability run out of time, you will actually get taxed a massive cooldown of 60 seconds before you can use it again. So this is your, your active ability. Keep it up as often as you can. Cathode Grace also provides energy regen with every kill, but it also increases critical chance to her weapons and abilities. She becomes a killer machine when this ability is on, so don't just stand there, get active and get rewarded for doing so. And finally, we have Jai's fourth ability, which is Rotor Swell. Surrounding herself with a ring of electric, coming into contact with enemies, you will hit them for electric damage. However, if she lands a critical hit with this ability, it will discharge a chain of electricity, hitting multiple enemies and creating room for a really good crowd control with incredible nuke potential as the entire kit synergizes together effortlessly. So now you have a rough idea of how those abilities work. Let's have a cheeky look at that build then, shall we? So the breakdown is for you to focus primarily on strength. All of this build scales really well from strength, whether it be from higher buff returns, full armor strip, or even just more damage damage output. Strength is your go-to. Keep in mind that you can increase strength multiple different ways with mods, Archon Shards, Arcanes, and even Focus Schools, just to name a few different ways. So experiment with your build. Next up, we want to go and focus a bit of range in here because it's going to help Rotor Swell control and nuke rooms better, giving us less effort required and also better aggressiveness with our positioning. Duration doesn't need to be touched here, really. You can hurt it a little bit, but don't hurt it too much, as you'll be needing some decent base duration for your abilities. And up last, finally, we have efficiency. Now, this can be hurt significantly because our Cathode Grace ability gives us energy back per kill, but we'll also be seeing, as you can see here, the Archon Stretch mods, in which will give us energy return on electric ability damage. So when they're paired together, you'll ramp up energy back with ease. So for the Arcanes, I honestly think that you can flex these to fit for whatever needs you require. Mo Augmented for extra strength can help if you're needing it more, for example, but with so many new arcanes coming out lately fit in whatever suits your playstyle and experiment around with them i honestly keep changing mine and for now it's in mind of the very steel path circuits hence things like aegis and nullifier but again flex on whatever you want to go and fill in here it's entirely up to you the main mod you're wanting to focus on her is her augment for her third ability this is called cathode current now to explain this simply it converts your fourth ability similar to how your third ability works by extending its duration with kills however it also gives you extra discharges per kill as well. This augment is core and you'll be working around it. So pop that in first, then build whatever else you need to. As for my survival, I've got Hildren's Pillage ability, but I also throw in Rolling Guard for invulnerability on rolls, which also pairs well with shield gating. And then I also go and use the Prime Shield Footed mod to prevent being knocked down. Otherwise, the build is there to flex on whatever you have available and whatever you can fit in. So take it to your playstyle and have a little experiment. Jaya is an absolute monster in Steel Path 
content and is honestly one of my favorite go-tos right now simply press a third and fourth abilities get kills keep them active and extend the duration and from there use hildren's pillage to remove enemy defenses and if you need a bit of grouping or extra crowd control then toss out your core horizon easy to use scales well and overall a fun way to approach end game content as for some of the weapons going pair with her it's kind of your call like how i mentioned at the beginning of the video i like to go and use things like spore lasers it's one of my favorite weapons in the game but honestly most of these the very steel path and kind of weapons right now or any kind of beam chaining weapons or just beam weapons in general even things like ocucore with its new seasonal augment with a sentient surge it is gross she just melts through enemies with little to no resistances met so anyways guys look there you have it there's the build go enjoy yourselves do not sleep on the power of jaya and if you guys enjoyed today's video then please go and hit that like button come subscribe if you're new and until next time thanks for watching